Hello there, Pisces. Welcome to your love reading for 2024. Okay, so we're just going to see what we get here. Um, see what comes out and which way, direction we're going. I'm just sort of freestyling this one. Let's see, we have... Ooh, we have the Six of Cups. Reminiscing about something from the past, something you did as a child. Could be a childhood friend, could be a lover. Um... Ooh, but there's something hidden here. We have the moon. Pisces, your card, your energy. Look at this moon. Isn't that beautiful? So, the moon energy here. Okay. Something hidden. Ow! We have... Look, look at this. I love this. This is like my favorite card in this deck. Strength card. Okay, so we have here... I think someone wants to express their true feelings to you. Now... This could be a past person that you were with before. It doesn't have to be. It could be a friend that is saying, Oh, I need to come clean. I, I can't take it anymore. I have to come out. I have to express myself. Um, well, we're going to work in retrograde. Things might get revealed. That makes a lot of sense. Okay. So, yeah, and something coming back from the past. That's the way it feels. It feels very intense. That someone has some, and they're just trying to get the strength to come towards you. Okay, so, and speak their truth. So let's see about this Six of Cups. We have here, this is, oh, the Magician. Okay. So we have the Magician. Someone's been trying to work on this, trying to manifest this. Trying to bring this in. Uh, a lot of thinking, a lot of, um, they. Ha it feels like they have all the tools they need. They just have to get the strength, and they know it. Their emotions are getting too strong here. They're, they have a fear. Here, this is fear, and this is strength, so they have to beat the strength. So let's see. I beat the strength. Beat the fear. <laughs> oh, my God, beat the fear. Okay. We have here. This is the King of Wands. Okay, so could be dealing with Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or it, it doesn't have to be, but this person has a lot of passion for you. It's like they've been keeping it inside. They're ready to burst. I don't know if they can handle this much longer. That's why they need the strength. It's very strong Leo, though, then. We have here, oh, we have the anchor. Okay, so yeah, they want long term. They want a commitment. Okay, let's see about the strength. We have here the Knight of Cups. They're having the strength to come towards you and confess their love. That's what this is all about. This person has a lot of passion and desire for you, and they, and they want to express their love for you. Okay, so let's get a charm on the Knight of Cups, and then we'll do the words. We have, oh, we have a crab. Okay, so the Cancer energy here. Uh, but also it could be that this person is... um. Might come across a little tough on the outside, but they're really soft inside. That's why I look at the crab. It's a hard shell. But also, um, they might come in sideways. You're not going to expect them, or you're not going to express... The way they're, they say something to you, it's going to throw you off. It's going to like be coming out of left field type of thing, because it's, this crab is sideways. Let's see. I mean, the crab I see is sideways. We have serious, the end, career... Does this person need to like end their career to be with you or or this could be that you're seriously and in the end you're going to choose your career if you have to choose it over them i don't know these words could be for you maybe maybe not and i keep on uh, reminding people that every time you watch a read and take a pad and a pen and whether i'm the reader or someone else as i'm saying things or like even with this and i'm coming up with you know whatever it might come up with something totally different that will be what your angels and guys are telling you so listen and write down the the words the information you get and it also will strengthen your intuition so let's see about this um the knight of cups here knight of chalices we have a tower yeah they're gonna surprise you with that crap and with the tower yeah you're not expecting this pleasure married okay this person would really want to be married to you and um that would really please them and i think when they come in and they shock you with whatever they're going to say here Aries scorpio energy with the tower and coming in um, like out of the blue here or whatever they're doing here it's um it's really going to please you 
and they are really talking long term. I don't know if this person is actually going to just come right out and tell you how they feel and say they want to marry you because it feels like that type of energy between the crab and the tower and having the strength. They might just do that or maybe they might just once they finally let it out, they're going to say too much or something like that because they've been holding this in for so long that when they do finally say something, they might say too much. Maybe that's what they're afraid of because they know how they feel about you. It's very intense. Okay, let's see. Let's see what else we have coming in for you on love. We have here, you're moving away from something or someone might have to relocate to come to you. The Six of Swords is some kind of movement. Some, moving away from something that does not serve you to something much better. And it usually is much better. And it also could be a trip, a vacation, traveling. It could definitely be travel. You could be traveling. And we have, oh, three of cups. But you're, yeah, you might be going on vacation, having a good time, celebrating. That might be coming up for you. And we have here, this is the Queen of Swords. So um, also you could be dealing with Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or this could be your energy. Coming in, speaking your truth about something. Standing in your power here. Okay, let's see. Very intelligent, Queen of Swords. And we have, oh, the Wheel of Fortune, Divine Timing, Destiny. Okay, let's clarify these. The Six of Swords, let's see. Why is the Six of Swords here? Okay, so we do have here the Seven of Swords. So moving away from this um, energy here, or maybe you feel like you don't trust someone or someone's lying, cheating, stealing from you or or holding things back. You're moving away from that. And that could also be too, uh, to do with this person it, that they're holding back their feelings. Now they're coming clean. That could be because of that too. But we do have this celebration. And it is the two wands. You might be also invited out uh, invitation and you're not sure if you want to go with the two wands. This is trying to make a decision here. Twos are always decisions. And it's like, okay, maybe you're invited to a special event or invited on a date or invited out for coffee or something. You're not sure. Okay, so what about this Queen of Swords? We have here, this is the Four of Pentacles. Hmm. So this is like a barter system going on here. Look at this. We have like there's a merchant and then there's a pirate trying to barter for something. So maybe someone's holding him back or someone doesn't want to lower the price or someone doesn't want to give more. They're like some kind of barter system. But you're going to stand in your truth here, I think, and make sure that something is done correctly, equally. Um, it's got to be equal or it's got to be telling the truth. So someone could be holding back something or someone's keeping something to themselves. Okay, let's get the words on this Queen of Swords. Wheel of Fortune, okay. Committed options, confess, lover. Ooh. So if someone's demanding the truth, someone might be confessing that either they have a lover or they want you as a lover or some might also be confessing options. Now again, take if it resonates with you. It might be for you, might not. Okay, what else do we need to know here for Pisces? What else? We have here the Magician again. You are manifesting something here. So what you think about, you bring about. So make sure you stay positive. Keep your thoughts positive. Because this is saying you have all the tools you need to manifest. Whatever you want here. And we have here the Page of Wands. So this is someone coming towards you with an offer here. There's some kind of communication. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And we have the Queen of Pentacles. Hmm. This could be an offer for a business proposition too. It could be a love offer. You could have a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn coming towards you. Let's get the charm. First on the Page of Wands. We have, this is divinely guided. We have an angel. Okay, and the Queen of Pentacles, we have an owl, something wise, a decision coming in here, something. Yeah, let's see here. What about 
the magician we have here okay judgment yeah someone you're trying you might be trying to bring something around or you have to make a decision on something and we have here oh we have the world ending new beginnings i think you guys might be traveling too and we have the seven of cups you have options choices there's um some kind of communication coming in you do have offers coming in you could have a queen of pentacles um you could have a taurus virgo capricorn or you could have a aries leo sagittarius coming towards you but you do have options you do have choices there's some kind of judgment you have to make a decision you are manifesting this you could also could do a lot of traveling here or there could be this ending for a new beginning too okay let's see about the page of wands we have here truth obsessed sharing okay so when this page of wand comes in they might be um sharing some kind of truth with you about i don't know this could almost be about this other person being obsessed with you maybe someone else is saying something or someone is obsessed with sharing some kind of truth let's see about the queen of pentacles memories change love ah oh, i tell you that i'm thinking that someone is telling you something this might be that this person that's coming in here they might they might have someone else coming towards you too and telling you that this person is really obsessed with you that they shared with them how how they felt about you and um that their feelings changed to love so it could be a friend too but yeah, someone's memories changed to love. Could rearrange it. But how else would you change it? I don't know. Okay. So, what else do we have coming in for you guys? Let's see. We have here the Eight of Cups. You're walking away from something. You had enough. You're not interest in something wheel of fortune divine timing and destiny so you might feel like you're destined to move on from something that's no longer serving you and we have here you're, you're here healing here there's a healing taking place you definitely could be traveling i don't know some of you could be relocating but you're moving on you feel a destined um energy to do so you feel like you you feel driven to do something and this is going to be very healing for you whatever you're doing here whatever you're moving on from okay we have here this is the Nine of Cups. Whatever you're moving on for, you're moving from the Eight of Cups to Nine of Cups. You're moving on to your wish fulfillment, happiness, dreams coming true. And we also have here the Two of Swords. Uncertain about your destiny here, but it's all going to work out. It almost feels like you're taking a leap of faith and you're going to be happy about it. But you're still a little uncertain here. We do have a healing here. And it has to do with... This is the Knight of Cups. Someone having a lot of love with for you, or trying, or you're healing something with a Knight of Cups, or there's a, or you could be taking, you could be having a healing um, going on with the Knight of Cups. Now this could be anybody. This could be a lover. This could be a friend. This could be a family member. It feels like there's a healing taking place with someone that is um, that you love in your life. It also could be a, a Knight of Cups coming back in, wanting to heal something with you. That's why you maybe have the Two of Swords undecided about different connections. But I feel more like this is just like there's something changing, something shifting. And you feel a little certain because you're, you know, with the, the Wheel of Fortune, we don't know what it means. I mean, it's whatever it's meant to be. But someone feels like they have a blindfold on. So they're not seeing it yet. Maybe making them a little nervous. Let's see about this Knight of Cups. The X, oh boy. Committed. Karma. Oh. So the, the X might be experiencing some kind of karma or they want to have a commitment. They feel like it's karma. Um, you will know, see, like then, right then and there, I'm sure that you guys got some kind of message or some kind of word. Write them down. Okay. So. Tell us more about the love life. More about the love life, please. We have here. We have the King of Wands. Ooh. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. A lot of passion. Is that what we had up there? Okay. And then we have the Seven of Cups, Options, Choices, Confusion. 
illusion. And we have the devil, for the devil is coming through. Okay, a Capricorn. There could be a Aries Leo Sagittarius that is confused about something. And this could have something to do with options as far as there might be addictions, might be fear, there might be obsession, um, jealousy. That could all be coming through here. Okay, let me get a charm on this King of Wands. We have a tree. Okay, this person might feel this King of Wands. That you guys have a strong bond here. It also could be a past life connection. So they could be feeling that, but they want to grow something with you. But they might be seeing you have an option. So let me clarify this King of Wands. A lot of passion, a lot of desire. And we have here... This is actually temperance, Sagittarius energy. Yeah, someone really wants to balance things out with you. They, they, they're being very patient. They're waiting for you. They want you to make a decision. And we have here, this is the Three of Swords. There could have been some kind of third party that interfered that maybe um, brought in this confusion. And that could be the devil energy too, saying, oh, I don't know if there's a third party. And the third party could be someone cheated, but it could also be other people. It could be family, it could be friends that, that started trouble. Or it could be, again, it could be addictions. It could be anything that came in between you guys. And we have here, so we have the Knight of Swords, right? Knight of Swords, no, Knight of Cups. That's what happens when you don't use the decks all the time. I'm always, <laughs> this is Knight of Cups. So this is, um. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, someone coming in with a lot of love or maybe it also feels to me like someone might be coming in um, with some liquid courage here in order to approach you. And that's where this devil energy is coming in. They might be drinking when they, they approach you, but someone has feelings for you. I think, you know, they're worried about your options or they're worried about what happened in between between you guys or who, this third party, whatever came in between you so i feel like someone needs to come in but they're they're needing to get the strength so they might have a, sh a drink or so or two let's see we have the tools this is something trying to use the tools to, and trying to fix things i feel like this person is trying to see how they can fix things they feel like they have different ways of doing this so they're trying to figure out what tools to use to fix this now that's not going to be for everyone but it might be for you Let's see about the King of Wands here. Let's get a word on the King of Wands. Okay, so we have here third party. See, there's a strong third party here. Soulmate. Future. See, this person, this King of Wands feels like you guys are meant to be together. But there's something that came in between you guys. Whatever that may be. Outside influence. Anything outside the connection is a third party. Fa family. Friends. Addictions. Fear distance it also could be someone's um it could be someone's memories of something that happened to them in the past that could be a third party it could be why are they putting you know bringing that into this connection this connection should be just about the two of you so someone might have been treated wrong and they and that's what keeps this wedge here that's not gonna be for everyone i felt that for someone so i had to say okay let's see about this knight of cups we have forget, never, confuse. This person is confused because they never can forget you. They never can let you go is what I'm feeling here. A very strong connection that they feel towards you. Let's um, see the possible outcome for you guys. We have here the two of cups. So you are going to come together with someone here. You have choices too with the twos. There's a strong soulmate connection. You are reassessing, reevaluating, looking at something here uh, about this connection that you probably feel kind of drawn to. And here we have the high priestess. You're using your intuition, or you have a very strong intuition here, Virgo Cancer energy. I feel like you're really tapping into your intuition. There also could be you reassessing something because maybe something's hidden. There's secrets that could be here with the um, high priestess. The bottom of the deck here, we have a tent of, this is what you don't see coming. This is commitment coming in. It also could be financial security. It could be a lot of money coming in for you. Okay, so let's see about this two of cups. Why is the two of cups here? We have here. Yeah, look at this. This is marriage. There is someone that is getting married here. They're real. They're really looking at something. 
to think, oh, should I do this or shouldn't I do this? A little nervous. Uh, Taurus energy here at the Hierophant. And then we have here, this is the Nine of Swords. This Nine of Swords is very interesting. It's almost like someone's beaten their fears, beaten their... Because here we have the Nine of Swords, which, which is always representative of anxiety, fear, worry. But look at them. There's like someone's triumphant over this. And then for the High Priestess, we have here the Queen of Chalices, the Queen of Cups. Okay, so Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy. Very loving. And intu this is an intuitive energy too. I think it's you guys being very intuitive. Just saying you're trusting your intuition. You, you're tapping into your intuition here. And we have the bottom here. We have here. Interesting. We have the Eight of Swords. Yeah, the Eight of Swords. This deck is really interesting with the swords. It's like someone is taking on whatever this is. Feeling trapped? No, they're not feeling trapped. Look, this person's breaking free. There's someone back there that's holding these swords back there. What is going on in this picture? Sorry, i got to look at this a little more. Yeah. I think someone is taking control of something here. Realize they're breaking free from the Eight of Swords beyond that trapped energy. There is commitment. There's definitely a commitment. Someone's getting married. Okay. Now the Queen of Swords. Oh, we have the horse. It's going to happen very quickly here. Horse is fast movement. It's like the chariot. Wild and free and moving here. Okay, so now for the words with this Queen of Cups. We have here... Excited, spying later. Hmm. Someone might be watching somewhere or looking into something or spying on someone, but later there's going to be excitement. I'm going I'm to put it that way. I'm just not going to put them in that order because excited, spying later. That, that, but then again, we do have the high priestess. So maybe your intuition is telling you something that's going to excite you later. It's like you might be looking into this, doing some readings or something like that, and getting very excited about what you find. So that could be, too. Okay, guys, let's see what signs we're dealing with. It looks like someone's getting married, though. It looks like the marriage is in the cards for someone here. Okay, so this could be placement in your chart, placement in other people's charts, past, present, and future. Let's see what we have here. We have here Cancer. Libra Sagittarius Capricorn Sagittarius and Sagittarius look at that you know what the other cards I did before they got really like messed up on me, Sagittarius came out more than any other sign. And with this pack here, it wasn't happening. But look at this. Very strong Sagittarius here. Okay, so this could be placement in your chart, placement other people's charts, past, present, future, Cancer, Libra, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Sagittarius, and Sagittarius. All right, guys. So if this did not resonate with you and you checked out your sun, Check out your moon, your rising, your Venus sign. Something might resonate with you more. It might give you that missing piece, that missing link. The part of the puzzle makes everything click together. Thank you so much for all your love and support. I truly appreciate you guys. I love you so much. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your subscribes, your comments. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you.